It's love and war, the tales we share. Grab some popcorn, pull up a chair. Let's dive in. Me and best friend recently slept together. Now causing huge issues and tension, I have no clue what to do. Posted by best friend advice 8. Throw away for obvious reasons. First things first, this may be long and winding. I hope it all makes sense, but I think just typing it out and getting it off my chest will help massively. I need some advice on what I can do here and where I should go. I need to keep my friend. I met her two years ago when we worked together and quickly became very close. She helped me through the darkest times of my life. I was in the midst of splitting with an abusive ex when we met, and I helped her through some really tough and unimaginable things. There were lots of rumors at the time that we were seeing each other, and everyone assumed we were an item. However, for the past two years, our relationship has been purely platonic. She was my best friend, and up until a few weeks ago, I don't think we'd even ever hugged. Fast forward to a week ago, she came over for dinner and wine, which is very common and normal for us. We had more than usual, and she was over the limit, so she couldn't drive and stayed the night. We slept in the same bed, but apart, with no physical contact. It was completely normal and just as expected. We somehow didn't get up and ended up staying in bed until 10 p.m. the next day, just talking. At some point during that evening, she got upset about something going on in her life. I rubbed her back while telling her everything would be okay, and then we just cuddled. It was probably the first bit of real physical contact between us, but nothing felt sexual. She went home, and everything was okay. This past weekend, we had a hiking holiday planned where we'd be sleeping in her van. She has a converted transit. It's one bed, but we thought we'd be fine. The first night was freezing, so we ended up cuddling and spooning, but again, it didn't feel sexual. The second night is where it all went a bit wrong. We drank a bit too much and the spooning got carried away. It seemed to be a joint thing, and before I knew it, we were kissing and touching each other everywhere. This frenzy lasted for about 15 minutes until we both stopped and realized what we had just done. Afterward, we spoke a little and asked if either of us regretted it. We both said we didn't, but it was odd. She got upset, and I told her it was okay, that it didn't change anything, and we could just draw a line under it. We woke up the next morning, and it happened again. We didn't talk much, but then went for a walk. Just before we headed home, we ended up all over each other again. We were completely naked, but stopped, cuddled, and lay there. We both agreed it was a what happens in X stays in X type of event. It was a really long trip home, over six hours. During this time, she would rest her head on me, hand on my lap, etc. And it seemed very different from our usual dynamic. When we stopped at services for breaks, we seemed to walk arm in arm. We kept kissing on and off, but it seemed strangely normal. We arrived back at her home. She lives with her dad at the moment, but just before I left, she kissed me again and thanked me for a wonderful weekend. The following day, two days ago, she came over to get some stuff I had taken home with me. We ended up just cuddling, kissing, and so on again. We were on my bed and dry humping, but she had dinner with a friend, so we stopped it there and she went on her way. Two days later, she came over for a film and food. We had a lovely night. She ended up staying and we had intercourse twice. This should have felt really weird and strange, but it felt completely normal and we both discussed how odd it was that it felt so normal. Yesterday, she turned up unannounced at my place, which is not a normal thing, with coffee and donuts. We ended up talking, cuddling, and kissing again, and then we started talking about what this is. Cue the big problem. Neither of us were sure. She got panicky, burst into tears, and left. She said she was really scared, and her words were, I think I will end up pushing you away and hurting you, and I don't want to do that to you. I told her I would come and see her later to talk. I drove to her house, but her ex was there, which is another slight issue. They broke up six years ago, but stayed close friends. He's a lovely bloke, but in his head, he's certain they will get married and have children. She's had the conversation with him, but he seems to shut it off. If he found out she was seeing anyone, he would get extremely angry, but there's so much family history intertwined between them that it's really complicated. For that reason, she has avoided seeing anyone in the past six years. The reason he turned up is that she hadn't responded to him since the night we kissed. I went home when I saw his car and just said she could come to mind to chat later. She turned up, sad and very emotional. She explained she ran off because she's terrified of losing our friendship. I said, let's just cut the romance out, draw a line under it and be friends again. But she didn't speak much when I said this. I asked if her ex was the issue. She said it was nothing to do with him, but a whole other issue. 
and that it was not impacting what was going on between us. We sat quietly, hugged, and I tried to reassure her it would be okay and that I wasn't going to start hating her for whatever reason. I am completely fine with just being platonic friends again. We both agreed and said whatever happens, we stay friends and nobody gets hurt, but we will pull back from the more physical side. This somehow ended up with us kissing. We kissed for a little while, and I told her she should probably go home and get some rest. But everything was okay. We got up and she helped make my bed. I gave her a hug and opened my bedroom door so she could leave. She then took the door from me, closed it, and kissed me. This then led to intercourse, and we had really passionate intercourse for about an hour. We got up, cuddled, kissed, and she left. I woke up this morning feeling really panicky. I have no idea where we are, where we stand, and I'm absolutely terrified of losing our friendship. I don't know what to do or say. I felt sick to my stomach and can't eat at the thought of this. She is coming around later to collect some of her clothes she left last night, and I'm thinking I need a plan for what to say or do. I cannot lose my best friend. She is absolutely everything to me. But I'm worried we crossed a line and there's only one eventual outcome, which won't be good. I'm super sorry if this is hard to read, but man, it felt like a weight off my shoulders just typing this out. Ah, the classic tale of friends who shouldn't, but then they do. You guys are sending more mixed signals than a broken traffic light at a four-way intersection. One minute you're just pals, the next you're in a van exploring each other like Christopher Columbus. What's the game plan here? Accidentally fall into a relationship while trying to avoid it. And then comes the what are we talk. Oh, the drama. It's like asking a magic eight ball a question and then shaking it until you get the answer you want. Here's some free advice. Maybe you both need to sit down and actually figure out what you want. Because right now, you're both acting like you're in a maze blindfolded. If you don't want to lose the friendship, then set some boundaries. And if you're going to be more than friends, then commit to it. Stop dancing around the issue like it's a puddle you don't want to step in. Make a decision and stick to it. Now, on to the top comments. I said, let's just cut the romance out, draw a line under it, and be friends again. Does she want that, though? Have you considered she might just have a crush on you, and that the fact that you seem to bring up the we could just draw a line under it unprompted is actually really hurtful? Have you considered that the intercourse may not magically happen to the both of you due to an outside influence, but that she might, you know, want and initiate it? Maybe she was hoping that you would say that what is happening now is a wonderful addition to your friendship and that it will all be okay. You want to preserve what is there, but you need to consider that maybe it has been different for her for a while now and she does not want to go back to pining for you. What was there may well already be gone. She's been your good friend for two years and you said the intercourse is also good. What's holding you back here about her? Is she not actually perfect? Would it be so bad to give dating a shot? No one has said it yet, so here's something direct. You're an idiot. I don't mean that to be rude, but you're missing literally every signal right now. This girl is very into you. She wants a relationship. She's had a crush on you this whole time. If you feel the same way, stop telling her you are okay with going back to being friends. Side note, you probably were never friends. She was probably trying to get close to you, and you missed every signal until she straight up kissed you. Sleeping in the same bed isn't a big deal. Holiday weekends, sleeping in a car together. Her ex is also abusive, as some have noted. You need to stop having things happen to you and start taking charge of your decisions. Confront this guy with her and tell him to stay away. Get a restraining order against him and make sure you all cut contact. He doesn't get to influence her life. Tell this girl you want a relationship or tell her you can't. Access your feelings. Step up and act. Also, congratulations for potentially finding a great person who you really got to know well and seem to vibe with. I'd let that influence your decision because it is rare and you are lucky, so do something about it. Hey, wait. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And let me know what you would have done if you were in this situation down in the comments below. Anyways, stay safe out there in that crazy world. Much love. Peace.